So hey guys and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be giving you an updated merchandise video because I did a merchandise video a bit of a while ago now and I decided, you know what, I've got so much merchandise since that original merchandise video, I'd do another one. So if you do want to like this video, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single video. Without further ado, let's get straight on into it. So like I said at the start of the video then, I have got so much stuff to show you so please do watch till the end. I have put timestamps on the video just kind of expecting this to be a bit of a long one because I have got so much to show you um, but what I wanted to start off with is my pin badge collection. In my video last year I started my pin badge collection by unboxing some pin badges um, to show you guys and also show you what you get in the Orton Towers mystery pin badge set so if, you, if you've not seen that and you've not seen what you get in the Orton Towers pin badge mystery set I definitely would um, recommend watching the video that's linked in the description below. But without further ado, let's get onto the floor and let's show you my pin badge collection as it stands at the moment. Right, so here we go. This is my pin badge collection. There are three that aren't on display here at the moment. Um, just because I wanted to show those at the end of the video because they're quite special and I wanted to explain why in their own respective ways. Um, I have tried to lay out every pin badge that I own um, in an orderly fashion. Unfortunately though, I've got so many now that this is getting a bit unwieldy. Um, I'm planning to get a cork board to put up in Icosa Studios to permanently display my pin badge. Badges. Um, sadly, I've not got around to doing that yet. So unfortunately, this is as good as we're going to get it at the moment. Um, I'm not going to show you every pin badge that I have just because I have so many, um, but I am going to show you the ones that I feel are worth showing um, because of their uniqueness or what they mean to me, etc. Um, but if there is any that you want me to um, show uh, specifically on camera, um, then please let me know down in the description and I will definitely um, post it on my social media channels like my Instagram. Uh, I'm going to start off in the top left hand corner of the uh, frame here and show you my Gangster Granny pin badge. Um, now the reason that um, I like this pin badge so much is because I do really like the design of the Gangster Granny the Ride logo. I feel like um, it's quite a cool design uh, to have um, and these pin badges I imagine will become quite sought after in a couple of years just because um, I imagine Orson Towers will stop production um, of these pin badges pretty soon like they do with um, certain collections of pin badges. Um, next, I'm going to show you my Nemesis 25 pin badge. Um, this was, of course, um, created to commemorate the 25th birthday of the Nemesis roller coaster. Um, I really like this pin badge. Um, I did get to ride Nemesis on its 25th birthday, um, but I didn't get this um, pin badge on its 25th birthday, actually. I got this on eBay after the fact, um, just because uh, I didn't really collect pin badges back then, um, but I really wanted this one in my collection. The next one I'm going to show you is this Runaway Mine Train um, pin badge. Um, I do really like this one. I think it's got a lot of detail in it for a pin badge. Um, and I really do like the Runaway Mine Train roller coaster. Um, I think it's great and I think it's great for families. Do I think it's going to stay at the park for very long though? No. I do think it's unfortunately one that's going to be removed um, sooner rather than later. Um, but again, I do feel like this is a cooler one to have. Um, and this is definitely one of my favourites in my collection. And the next pin badge I'm going to be showing you today is this Congo River Rapids pin badge. Um, I love this one because the um, boat actually goes back and forth. This is definitely one for Alton Alex. Um, yeah, big shout out to you, buddy. Um, but yeah, this is um, fantastic. I love how the boat moves on this little rail that it's got here. Definitely one of the more unique ones I've got in my collection. And the other one that I really wanted to show you um, was probably one of my flat rides and still is one of my favourite flat rides at Alton Towers. That is Ripsaw, um, a fantastic Huss top spin um, that used to be located in the X sector um, area of Alton Towers. Um, I really do miss this um, flat ride, um, like I say, but um, I've got this pin badge to commemorate it. Um, so yeah, I really like the um, logo of this, uh, of this ride as well. It is really cool. 
The next one that I wanted to show you was this 2021 Alton Towers Wicker Man pin badge. Um, I do really like the little cartoony, funky design that this one has. Um, it's also got quite a lot of detail in it. Oh, sorry, not the camera there. A lot of detail in it over here. So yeah, really do like that one. I think that one's really cool. Um, the next one that I then I want to show you would be my Thunder Looper pin badge. Um, I never got a chance to ride this. I would have been one years old whilst this ride was operating actually. Um, or the last year that it was operating, sad, uh, sadly. So I never got to ride this one, but if you don't know what the Thunder Looper was, it was a roller coaster that was temporarily in the Forbidden Valley area of the park before, um, uh, you know, Forbidden Valley was Forbidden Valley, really. Um, the Thunder Looper, again, was a temporary attraction um, that Alton Tower was bought um, to fill that space until they decided what they wanted to do with it. And eventually they put Nemesis in. Um, but yeah, really love that pin badge. I love um, how it represents that roller coaster as well. Um, the next one then that I want to show you was this Alton Tower's 40th anniversary pin badge. Um, I love the detail in this one. Um, and it represents their 40th anniversary really, really nicely, I feel. Um, yeah, I definitely love this pin badge um, because of the design alone. Um, one other pin badge um, that I really, really love though um, is this Smiler pin badge. Um, this is the 2018 Smiler pin badge and it's definitely a unique one. Um, the eyes actually spin on this pin badge and again, this is one that I'd love to have on the wall on a cork board. Um, I will get that organized by the way. Um, but yeah, I really do like that one and how the eyes spin. Um, this is quite a sought after one as well online I've found. So really like that one, that's really cool. The next one then that I really, really like is this Forbidden Valley pin badge. Um, I love this one, I really do. Um, I love the design of the Forbidden Valley logo. Um, so this was definitely one that I had to have in my collection. So the next one that I wanted to show you then would be this 2021 Alton Towers pin badge. Um, this was one that I purchased on an off vlog day. So I wasn't vlogging that day when I got this pin badge. Um, but I absolutely love this one. Again, this one is nice and detailed, a lot like the one before it. Um, next then we have this Oblivion pin badge, um, again this is the 2021 version, um, I sort of love its little funky design, um, they really did come out with some good pin badges this year, um, but yeah, really do like that one, and I love how this one is sort of, you know, it's got different colours on it, uh, or it's like multicolored compared to like these ones. And the last one then that I wanted to show you out of my Alton Towers pin badge collection is this Franklin um, Scarefest one here. Um, 2020 Scarefest was the first Scarefest I got to attend for quite a few years. So to have this pin badge really does uh, symbolize that. And uh, I do love the little Franklin um, Scarefest character. So yeah, definitely a good one to have in my collection. So with the Alton Towers pin badges out of the way now, we've got the last um, few that I want to run through with you. Um, the first few actually I'm gonna show just to get them out of the way are my Oakwood pin badges. These are ones that I didn't show on the vlog. Um, I got a Megaphobia one, um, I got a Park mascot one, not sure what his name is, but he looked really cool. Um, I've got an Oakwood one, and I've also got a uh, Megaphobia 25 years one. Um, again, really love Megaphobia, and I really love these pin badges. Um, I think they're really, really, really cool. Um, yeah, really, really do like these ones. Um, with, that, with those ones out of the way then, I'm gonna move on to my Thought Park pin badges. Um, I really do like the Thought Park pin badges. Um, I haven't been in the Thought Park mega store before, so I haven't really had a chance to explore their full collection, um, but I definitely will be the next time I visit Thought Park, hopefully in a couple of weekends time, depending on how things go. Um, the first one I wanted to show was this a 2020 uh, stealth pin badge. Um, this is a representation of the entrance to stealth. I really do like the little details in this one. The next one I wanted to show you was this um, Nemesis Inferno pin badge. I really like how the roller coaster is represented here um, with the roller coaster logo and then um, the Nemesis Inferno uh, train going round its little loop there. Really do like that. I feel like it's a good representation of the roller coaster. The next one I wanted to show you was the Great Thought Park um, pin badge. This one was purchased as part of a, um, a collection. So basically got a Thought Park map, 2020 map, 
and one of these. Um, it's when the um, Thought Park 2020 maps went it ridic for the ridiculous prices on eBay. So they released this along with um, the Thought Park 2020 map and I will be showing that to you later on in the video. Here is a You're On Mute um, Thought Park 2021 um, um, pin badge. Really do like this one, and these are quite sought after because they were only on sale for um, a short amount of time. They pretty much sold out instantly. Um, not really anything to do with the park, but just a little joke, really. You know, you're on mute. Here is my Thought Park 2021 pin badge. Um, flash warning for those who are sensitive to light, but I'm going to turn this on for you. Here we go. Here is the um, the flashy bit. Yeah, it, it does flash. It's really cool. It's got a little like pin button battery there. Yeah, really do like this one. It's a really unique way to um, represent the Thought Park 2021 season. Now I know this one isn't a Thought Park pin badge, but I thought it'd be good to show you. Um, this is my vampire pin badge from Chesington World of Adventures. Um, really do love the vampire roller coaster, and so does Jenna actually. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna buy this nice um, pin badge, and it really does um, sit nicely in my collection. Again, would sit even more nicely on a cork board on the wall but uh, again that's something that i'm working on so here are all of my blackpool pleasure beach pin badges um or at least the ones that i've got at the moment um i am planning to get more blackpool pleasure beach pin badges because they do come out with some fantastic um pin badges um i want to show you this first this is my wooden pin badge collection um this is still available for purchase i believe on the blackpool pleasure beach website um but you've got the um logos for the wooden roller coasters embossed in woods there um the, i did do a, a video on these actually um if you go back on the channel and have a look i'll also link it down in the description so it's easier to find but yeah these ones are really cool and again i did a video on these um the next one i wanted to show you um in regards to Blackpool Pleasure Beach pin badges would be my Icon pin badge. Um, they do do these in different variants. They've got like a leopard print one um, and they've also got these in like, um, this is the bronze one, but they've got them in, they've got them in silver, gold, black um, and some of the colors as well. But really do like these ones. Um, you know, the, the, there's a lot of design that went into uh, making these. And again, this is just the bronze one, um, but I am planning to get more of those in the future. Um, here are my Thrillomatic pin badges. I'm going to show these all as one because they're really cool. Um, got the Thrillomatic pin, um, well, Thrillomatic logo there. Um, got Gromit here and the wrong trousers here. Um, yeah, really do like these. These are really cool. Um, the last ones that I've got to show you then um, is the Infusion one and the Black, um, well, sorry, not Black Pledge Beach, the uh, big one um, pin badge. Um, I do really like these. I love how um, the Blackpool Pleasure Beach designs the logos for their roller coasters. Um, I feel like that's nicely represented here on these pin badges. Um, I would definitely be getting more of these. Here is my Big Dipper and Revolution pin badges. Um, again, really like these and I love the logos for them. So that's why I've got these as pin badges. And the last Blackpool Pleasure Beach um, pin badge I have for you today is the um, 125 year um, anniversary pin badge. Um, this is the one with the roller coaster backdrop um, there nicely displayed um, hanging from that uh, pin badge. I really do like it. Um, and again, this is one that sits nicely in my collection as well. Right, so here are some miscellaneous ones then. Um, I want to show you this one first. This is my um, Alton Towers tw uh, 2011 um, pin badge. Um, this is one that I got from the Alton Towers website when they started selling off the um, staff uniform, etc. Um, this was given to staff members um, that actually worked at Alton Towers during the 2011 season. And Alton Towers 2011 season was actually the first season that I attended Alton Towers, believe it or not. So really nice pin badge to have. Um, here is my Team Mappy pin badge. Um, this is basically, if you don't know what Team Mappy is, um, Team Mappy is a group on Facebook, the Team at, at Merlin Annual Pass group. Um, and they were selling these as part of a charity um, sort of fundraiser. So I thought, you know what, I'll buy one for charity. It's really cool, it's, it's embossed and everything. Um, so I, I, I can imagine these took quite a bit of money to make actually, but yeah, I really, really like these. The next one I have to show you then is my Drayton Manor pin badge. Sadly, they don't do um, pin badges 
very much. This, this is the only one that I could find when I went. Um, Trader Manor, please do more pin badges. I really like this one. Um, quite a small loaf for what it is, but it did cost me $2.99 apparently when I did buy it. Um, this is I bought this when I went with um, the Flamingo in a Man's Body, Jack. Um, there's a shout out for you, Jack. But yeah, do you really like that pin badge? So the last one then that I have to show you is this pin badge by Theme Park Shots by Warren. It's a 13 pin badge that I won during one of his competitions. I absolutely love um, the merchandise that Theme Park Shots by Warren puts out. I think it's fantastic. Sadly though, I don't have a lot of money to buy a lot of his merchandise. Um, but he does fantastic custom pin badges, posters, prints, um, even t-shirts if you, if you manage to catch them. So definitely go check his store out. I will leave that in the description below. But he does fantastic, high quality, um, unofficial merchandise for theme parks. Um, this is one of them. I love that pin badge there. I love that design. It's brilliant and um, high quality. Um, these are the pin badges that I wanted to show you on the floor. There are three more now that I wanted to show you just because they're quite unique. They've got, um, they're quite rare. Um, and these are ones that I've um, I picked up along the way. Um, so I'm going to show you the first one. This is my icon pin badge. Um, this one actually cost me um, $4.99 at the Blackpool Pleasure Beach um, uh, icon store. Um, the reason this one is so special is because this was given out to people who attended the press event for Icon when it first opened. Um, so you wouldn't be able to get one of these pin badges any other way um, until they started selling them, them in the Icon shop. Sorry if I can speak. Um, the reason they had these in the shop was because they had a ton of them left over from that press day so they decided to sell them and I'm glad I picked them up because I imagine these will be quite sought after in the future. The next one then I wanted to show you, um, this is one that I've shown off on my social media before, um, but this is my Smiler um, pin badge. This was given to staff who got to ride the Smiler when it first opened. Uh, this was given as part of a pack to the original operators of the Smiler. Um, absolutely love this pin badge. And again, this is one that's quite sought after. Um, I love the design on it. Um, and I believe it's the only um, Smiler pin badge that ever got released with this this design so again this is quite a sought after one to have and definitely a rarer one to have in my collection but not as rare as this one that i have in my hand right now this is my nemesis pin badge this is made out of metal it is really really high quality um this is the original nemesis pin badge um i believe it's one of the first pin badges that alton towers ever released um but this was um obtainable um from the alton towers resorts back in 1994 um i love the design on this um, um, and this one that I bought from eBay for quite a lot of money actually, but it was a birthday present. Jenna's helped me out with this um, because it was a birthday present, but I paid half, she paid half. But I absolutely love this one, and this is probably my favorite pin badge that I have in my collection. And the Nemesis roller coaster means so much to me personally, so to have this in my collection is fantastic. But yeah, absolutely love that one. This is definitely my favorite. So guys, that has been my pin badge collection. I shall see you back in the studio. Right then, so there we go. That was my pin badge collection as it stands at the moment. As you saw in that clip, I have got so many pin badges now and I'm so proud of my collection it's grown so much since my last video um, and again if you've not watched that last video and you've not seen the start of my pin badge collection I definitely would suggest going down in the description below after this video and watching that one because honestly I watched that video back recently and I've got so many pin badges now compared to what I had um, like I said down on the floor actually um, it's a shame to have them all in a box so I do want to get um, a pin badge board put up somewhere um, here um, in the future probably on this wall actually um, you know take those down or put them up there but no no I'll work it out off camera but I definitely want to get a pin badge board put in the um, Ico studio um, in some time in the future so then I don't normally collect um, maps as such I normally buy them when and where I can um, I'm not actively looking for maps if that makes sense um, but I wanted to show you the map that I do have because I do have quite a few theme park maps um, mostly for Autumn Towers and I think I've got a few for Thor Park um, but nonetheless I thought it'd be worth showing you in this video so again let's get down on the floor and show you my theme park maps 
Right, so here we go then. Here are my theme park maps. Um, the reason I don't really have many of these is because I don't go out looking for them or looking to buy them. Um, they're things that, um, if they come up, I will um, look at buying, um, if I can get them for a good deal or I can get them from theme parks. Um, I do plan in the future to get a um, collection of Alton Towers maps. Um, but again, that's something that I'm working on. I don't really go out looking for these unless I can get them for a good deal. Um, I'm going to show you all of them, though. Um, I'm not going to open them all up, but I'm going to definitely show you the ones of significance. Starting with this one. This is my Alton Towers um, 2011 park map. As I mentioned in the last clip, um, when I showed you my 2011 um, uh, Alton Towers pin badge, um, the 2011 season was the first um, season I actually attended for for Alton Towers. So um, this one it means quite a lot to me. Um, the Alton Towers um, resort has changed so much um, looking at this. You don't have the Smiler there. Um, you don't have Wicker Man. Um, it just changed so, so, so much. And it's really interesting to see actually on this. Um, but yeah, this was the branding. Um, it's not really changed that much, in my opinion, um, from 2011 in terms of the way that the roller coaster is designed, etc. Um, I just thought it was a pretty interesting thing to show you, really. Um, but yeah, uh, let me know again if you want me to show any of these in uh, detail. I know I did a Instagram TV on this one, but I will still be showing you that. Um, this is my um, 2013 um, park map for the opening of the Smiler. Um, the Smiler was one of the first roller coasters that I ever followed um, in terms of its construction. So that's why I got this park map. Um, again, I'm not going to open every single one of these, but I thought I'd show you um, just how much they were really pushing the Smiler for that year. The Smiler was a massive roller coaster for Alton Towers Resort. It really was. And it shows on this park map because you've got the um, park map, uh, the Alton Towers logo up here with the Smiler branding. You've got Smiler branding down here, down here. It was just a massive deal for them at the time. Um, and that follows on, really, um, because... I'm going to show you now my 2013 um, uh, Alton Towers Scarefest map. Um, now, as you can see here, you've got the Sanctuary. This was a classic scare maze. Absolutely love the Sanctuary. It was my favourite scare maze that Alton Towers ever did for Scarefest. And I really wish they would bring it back. Um, but yeah, you can see Forbidden Valley there with Nemesis Subterra, um, that walkthrough attraction they had, um, which, which included those Fabry drop towers. Um, yeah, I really do like this one. This is one of my uh, favourite Scarefest maps. Um, but this one, though, this one um, really does hold a special place in my heart. Um, because this was actually the year that me and Alt uh, me and Jenna, sorry, went to Alton Towers um, for our first date. Um, and it was actually Scarefest that we went to for our first date. So you can see there the construction um, of the uh, Secret Weapon 8, which turned out to be Wicker Man. Um, yeah, you could just see what was on offer there. Um, I loved the welcoming Scare Maze as well. It wasn't as good as the Sanctuary, but it was definitely up there. Um, but yeah, again, the reason I have this map is because me and Jenna went to um, uh, Alton Towers during that um, 2018 Scarefest. So yeah, definitely a special map for me to have. Here are the remaining maps then. Um, this one is just a leaflet, um, I think for, uh, yeah, for, for the fireworks and I don't know what that is, the Scarefest? Yeah, Scarefest map, uh, Scarefest mazes. Um, but here is my um, 2018 resort map. Um, this was the opening year of the Wicker Man. Um, here are my two Thought Park maps then. Um, this is my 2012 map. This was the opening year of the Swarm. And the first year that I actually um, got to attend the Thought Park Resort. Um, now, I love these little like bubble heads that they were doing. Um, the, the branding was very like cartoonish. Um, and that's, uh, you can see that on the back as well. I, I sort of love this branding they did. I thought that was really good. I thought it was really cartoony, really silly. Um, I thought it was really eye-catching, but they got rid of it, unfortunately. Um, the thing I love about this map, though, is it's quite illustrated. Um, so you'll see that there's not a lot of computer, in fact, there's no computer-generated graphics really here at all, apart from the, uh, the Thought Park map, uh, Thought Park logo and 
and some other things. But I love how like illustrated and drawn it is. I love I, lo I love that cartoony um, sort of style. Um, but what's funny about this is not much has changed <laughs> in terms of the roller coaster line. Like, in fact, nothing's changed because this was the um, again the opening year of the Swarm. Um, the Swarm was the last roller coaster to be built at the Thorpe Park Resort, so it's quite funny um, that this hasn't changed in terms of the roller coaster line at all. And this is my last map then, this is my 2020 map. These were going for ridiculous prices on eBay um, until um, Merlin actually put these up for sale along with that um, the Great Thorpe Park pin badge um, on the Thorpe Park merchandise website. Um, but here you can see the events that they had going on for 2020. Um, they were trying something new, um, I guess, but unfortunately not a lot of these got to take place due to the um, COVID-19 pandemic. Um, but yeah, I'll open this one up just to compare how um, the, it's changed. Um, you can see they've sort of gone for a much smaller map design now. Um, but things are still um, illustrated, but there is quite a lot of computer generated graphics mixed in with this particular one. Um, and there we go, <laughs> the um, Black Mirror Labyrinth that didn't actually open for um, the 2020 season um, because it got delayed because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But yeah, um, that's my map collection then. Um, again, I just thought it was um, interesting to show um, because I have quite a few maps from quite a few different years of um, Alton Towers and Thorpe Park. Um, again, these are um, pieces of merchandise that I don't actively go out looking for um, just because, you know, if I can get them from parks, I will do. Um, but I'm definitely looking in the future to try and get a um, Alton Towers map collection on the go um, to represent all different years. But again, that's something that I'm working on personally. But yeah, I shall see you back in the studio. So now I want to show you my ride parts um, that I've got in my collection because I've got quite a few um, and I thought, you know what, I'll chuck it in um, this video just because uh, I am proud of them and I do want to show them off to you guys. And I want to explain why I got them as well because um, each ride part has a different meaning to me. Um, so yeah, again, let's get down on the floor and uh, show you my ride parts. Right then, so here are all the ride pots that I own at the moment. I know I haven't got many, um, but I find these so cool to own, so I'll definitely be purchasing more of these in the future as and when they pop up. Um, no, I haven't got the Rita launch cable that um, Alton Towers retailed for something stupid like £350. If I can find the exact price, I'll put it on screen now, but yeah, I didn't buy one of those because they were ridiculously overpriced. Um, I'm gonna go from right to left on this one, um, just because I wanna show you this one first, then the runner wheel, um, and then the megaphobia wheel, um, because I really do like this one, um, and I'll tell you how I got that as well. Um, so here we go, here is my um, uh, Big Dipper uh, upstop wheel, if I can speak. Um, this is quite heavy, but not as heavy as that. Um, I do really like this. Um, to have a piece of the Big Dipper is fantastic. It's one of my favorite wooden roller coasters um, at the Blackpool Pleasure Beach Park um, and it's really really nice to have. Um, these come filthy by the way. Um, I did um, make a video restoring this if you do want to go and watch that I'll link that in the description of this video. Um, yeah you can buy these all year round from the Blackpool Pleasure Beach website. They do have them on sale quite often um, also on the website and the Kiss Me Quick Shop so definitely go look at the ride parts section um, of both the Blackpool Web Pleasure Beach website and the Kiss Me Quick Shop if you want to purchase one of these. Again, these are great gifts for someone um, who is a fan of roller coasters. Um, these rate retail for about £30. I think I got this one for slightly cheaper, but I'm not quite sure. I'll have to watch the video back and see. Um, but yeah, really cool to have. I also have the um, certificate of authenticity for this. The reason that I know this is a big dipper upstop wheel is because they've taken it off like a week before and they put it in the Kiss Me Quick Shop. So that's why um, I know this is definitely from the Big Dipper. But again, here is my certificate of the um, certificate of authenticity of the Big Dipper upstop wheel. This is not a toy, may contain oil. Yes, it did. <laughs> um, right, so here is my um, Big Dipper, uh, sorry, not Big Dipper, um, Big One Running Track. Um, 
This is a uh, really worn in, um, but again, you don't want your ride parts to look perfect, do you? You want them to look used, you want them to look uh, worn in. I also did a um, video on this, so if you want to go watch that, Again, I'll link that in the description of this video. Um, I think this looks really cool, and it's a really um, interesting ride part to own. Um, and when I saw it on the Blackpool Pleasure Beach website, I had to have this. I did. I really, really like this. I have a theory of what part of this, um, what part of the big one, sorry, this came off of. I think it came off of that um, bit as you go under the lift hill of the big one um, because it's slightly curved that way if you look really closely kind of you can't really see on camera but yeah i think it came from that bit and that came with a certificate of authenticity as well um this is it here if you want to have a look from 1994 to um 2020 ride manufacturer aerodynamics this is not a toy it may contain oil <laughs> But yeah, um, I really wish that um, Blackpool Pleasure Beach would do a bit a nicer job of um, doing a certificate of authenticity, just because these ride parts can be quite expensive. Um, so I feel like I definitely need a holographic sticker on here just to prove that this is real. But again, I do um, like that they give you certificates of authenticity. I don't have one, however, for this big thing here. Um, this is my Megaphobia um, running wheel. Um, I absolutely love this thing i really do um this is my favorite um piece of ride part that i've got um, in my collection at the moment um the megaphobia is my um, number three coaster in in my overall rankings at the moment um i'm gonna try and pick this up and show you around but it's really heavy so, yeah there we go um and uh, particularly because i'm positioned behind the camera as well i'm having to extend my arms so this is really uncomfortable but here we go um this is it i'm gonna turn it over for you yeah again i love how worn it looks and if you look closely inside the wheel as well sorry for knocking the camera you can see a serial number um now this was made by a company looking inside the wheel and uh, looking at the manufacturer it was made by a company called takin or takin um it's spelled t-a-k-i-n um and i searched the serial number actually on their website and i couldn't find it that's either because it's a custom part and they don't normally make roller coaster wheels or it's because this is one one of the original wheels that came um, from the uh, Megaphobia roller coaster itself. Um, when we um, obtained this wheel um, at the Megaphobia uh, store, um, she actually explained that um, this was because I, because they had to go into storage to check if they had a wheel to sell me. Um, this was one of the ones that came off of the original train, um, which is really, really, really cool. Um, and again, I love this roller coaster, so it really does mean a lot to me to have it. But again, it's so heavy. I'm not going to even try and pick it up again um, because the position that I am behind the camera is really hard to pick up. But I love this thing. I really do. Like I said, I'm definitely looking to um, expand my ride part collection. Um, I will definitely buy ride parts as they come available to me. Um, so definitely um, expect videos from those in the future. I tend to do videos on my ride parts just because they're quite unique um, and I feel like they need to be shown off. So yeah, definitely love doing um, those types of videos. Um, but yeah, that is it for my ride parts. I shall see you back in the studio. So there we go then, those were my ride parts um, that I've got in my collection at the moment. I am planning to get a fair few more, and there's a fair few that I've got my eye on getting, um, like some extra wheels and some restraints, etc. Um, but I do need some more space to be able to put them in, because um, outside of like this little area here, there's not much space in this room to put anything else in. So I do need to look at getting a bigger space to put things like ride parts in if I am going to get more. Because I know that some of them can be quite bulky if you do buy some of the big ones. Um, but yeah, I am definitely looking to get more ride parts in the future. Um, now, what I wanted to show you um, was this behind me, everything that um, you see in um, every iCosa video in the iCosa studio. Because um, I know I've got some questions, or I've had some questions, sorry, about what's on um, my shelf, uh, what I've got around me, um, and what's off view. Because there's quite a lot of um, theme park merchandise that you can't see um, in the videos themselves. So I'm going to take you off the tripod now, um, and I'm going to show you around iCosa Studios. 
Right, okay, so here is all of my merchandise um, on my wall. I'm also going to be showing you this down here as well. Um, I'm going to be giving you a good look at that. I'm going to be starting from left to right on this one, though, just because I've got so much to show you. Um, I'm going to try and run through it all, but if there's anything you want to see, again, please do comment down below, and I'll definitely post something on my social media channels. So, the first piece of uh, merchandise I want to show you here is my Icon poster. This is my Dare to Ride poster. Um, these were given out as promotional material for the opening of the Icon roller coaster at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Um, there you can see the coming soon. Um, I was unfortunate enough to not be at the event or be at Blackpool Pleasure Beach for the opening of Icon, so I got this off of eBay for a good price. I think I got it for around four or five pounds, but I'm unsure of that. But yeah, I really love this one. This is definitely one of my favorite posters that I've got um, but yeah that is my dare to ride poster so moving on then to my shelf um, I have my coast account first off here um, this is something that Jenna got me off of Etsy um, if I find the um, seller who um, actually made this I'll put it down in the description of the video below if you want your own but there we go for 71 roller coasters um, here is my wicker man wood um, I bought this in a vlog I think it was the end of my Oktoberfest vlog that I actually purchased this. But yeah, really like that. It has all of the runic symbols of the Wicker Man roller coaster. Um, so again, really like that one. Here is one of my favorite resins, my Swarm resin. Um, really like the Swarm and its logo. And this one's got a really nice uh, velvety base as well. So yeah, really like that one. Um, it's, 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 it's presented really well as well with the Swarm roller coaster there. Um, you'll have to forgive me, by the way, if you do see any dust on my shelf. Um, I have tried to dust as much as possible, but I'm a bit iffy on dusting certain things like my icon 3d printed model and my infusion model because they're so delicate um i don't really like touching those a whole lot um so yeah forgive any dust that you see um but moving on then we have my nemesis um lego model um i did a video on all of the um, lego models that i've got for um my uh my lego roller coaster collection and there's a uh, a uh, playlist that actually on the channel if you want to go watch um, a time lapse of all of my um, models being built and again I'll show you more in a second. Um, here is my um, vampire resin slash um, snow globe um, so I'll show you this in action it's just a standard snow globe, snow globe sorry if you shake it it will um, yeah it will show that it will, it will come down with like black confetti which i really like here is my coaster credits and um, 3d printed coaster credit that my um friend dino made me for christmas one year um absolutely love that valid for any log flume rides yes there we go free coaster credit should change that to 72. um here is my alton towers mega resin absolutely love that i think that's a great uh, mega resin i know they've done these in the past um but this is the one for 2021 as uh, soon as i saw that on twitter actually um i had to have that and i went out to um, alton towers that weekend actually and bought one um, here is a golf ball from the Alton Towers Crazy Golf. Um, I love that so much and I had to have that in my collection because it is from Alton Towers. I've got another one behind there somewhere, I think. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, here is my Wicker Man resin. Um, this is great because you've got the Wicker Man um, portrayed on both sides of the resin. It's not just one side that has the Wicker Man um, statue on. Um, moving on then, we have got my um, Infusion 3 3D printed model. Um, again, these two 3D printed models have their own videos, so if you want to go check those out, um, again, I'll link it down in the description below. Um, but yeah, absolutely love these. I think these are great. They're so, so detailed. Um, and yeah, I love how with the 3D, uh, with the 3D, 3D printed infusion one, sorry, they managed to get it actually suspended from the track because that is completely, you know, there's nothing beneath it holding it up. It's completely suspended. And here's my Icon one. Probably my favorite bit of merchandise, I'm not gonna lie. I love Icon the roller coaster. It's my number one roller coaster, and I particularly love this 3D printed model. Um, I just love it. Um, there's my um, Big, Dis Big Dipper upstop wheel, which you saw in the last section. 
Moving down then to my keyboard, um, you can see some bits of merchandise that I have here. Um, I have my pin badge collection I've already shown you in this video. Um, I have my um, Welcome to Blackpool um, Visitor's Guide, um, which has a load of information about Blackpool. This came with my um, bit of um, big one wheel actually. You can see the different um, bits of history from the Pleasure Beach. I found this an interesting read actually. I've actually rid um, ridden this and I really do like it, or read it, sorry. Um, this is my Drayton Manor one. This was free in the Drayton Manor gift shop when we went. Um, it's just a story of how um, the Bryan family actually um, owned the park and what they did when they owned the park. It's really good. If you find these in the Drayton Manor gift shop, definitely pick um, one up. They're really good. Moving on then um, to these two pictures here. These are my um, prints from Coast to Prince Co. Um, Jenna bought me both of these. Um, Connor from Coast to Prince Co. Go, Co. Sorry, is such a nice guy. Definitely recommend his prints. They're really high quality. Um, we framed these because I like them so much. Um, I definitely th thought like, that they deserve to be framed rather than put them with blue tack, etc. But yeah, definitely go check him out. He's really cool. Moving over here then, here are my um, resins, there's my big one track, um, here is my Takabisha um, Lego model, um, again, like I said before, I've got um, videos for all of my Lego models that I've done, um, here is my big one resin, really like that, I feel like that's a great resin to have, um, sadly the stickers peeled off a bit here, but uh, still good piece of merchandise. But yeah, here is all of my um, other resins displayed here. I've got no more than this, um, sadly, but I will have a look to see if I can get any more this year because I really do like the idea of resins. Um, moving along then, we have my um, the remainder of my um, Lego models. We have my Wicker Man one, my Smiler one, and my... Um, uh, stealth one and if you ask me which one is my favorite I'd have to say my Wicker Man one I absolutely love this one I think this one's fantastic um, Brick the Kika who has these on his Etsy store um, actually has a few more GCI um, wooden roller coaster designs um, and they're very similar to this and I love every single one of them because they're so accurate um, but yeah, these are all Brick the Kika, by the way, um, but not this one. Um, this one's not Brick the Kika. Um, but yeah, that's been all of the merchandise I've got this, um, displayed in Icosa Studios. Um, yeah, if you've got any requests for me to show a specific piece of merchandise, again, I'm happy to do that on my social media. Um, but most of these bits of merchandise, as I've mentioned so many times in this video, have videos. So um, again, they'll be linked down in the description. But yeah, let's go back to the studio and end this video. So that has been my video on the merchandise I have got at the moment. As I say, I am planning to get more in, so definitely stick around. Um, hit that subscribe button if you are new here so that you don't miss future videos like this where I showcase my collection um, and what I add to my collection. Because like I say, I am a theme park enthusiast as well as a roller coaster enthusiast. So I do love all of this type of stuff. I really, really do. If you have liked the video, please smack that like button, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a single video. Please go follow me on my social media platforms down below. I say it in every video now, but I am posting more and more on my social media platforms like Instagram and TikTok. So it's definitely worth dropping me a follow on those platforms if you want to. I've been Ryan from iCoaster and I shall see you in the next video. Goodbye.